it's your girl Stishy back with another video back with another video and today we are doing this day of the dead glam skull makeup um I think I did how y'all think I did I really like the turnout I didn't want to do um the sugar candy skull look all over my eyes so I just put a little bit of um jewels on my face but i really like how it turned out so if you're interested in watching stay tuned for the video but before you do remember to like comment and subscribe right down below make sure you're leaving something in the comments let me know how you like this look so yeah get into the look and i'll see you guys soon it matches my nails g shit okay stitch gang let's get right into it I'm going to start with blending some oranges in my crease. I'm mostly doing like oranges and um, reds in the crease. I'm going to take the colors that I use in my crease right underneath my lower lash line as well and I'm going to blend that out before applying some black shadow to my lid and I'm going to blend those both the lid and the crease together to make sure that there aren't any higher, harsh lines or anything. But this look is intended to be fun. It's not supposed to be super precise, super technical. Um, this is mostly for a Halloween look so I'm not too too worried about everything looking super perfect. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, hey, get it, hey, get it, hey, get it, hey. <laughs> and again, everything we do on the top, we must do on the bottom. So I'm just blending that black right underneath on my lower lash line where I put the oranges a little bit before and I'm gonna blend that out smoke it out a little bit looking a little crazy now's the time to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed make sure you like and comment down below So now I'm going to start working on creating some shadow right up above my brows and into the bridge of my nose. I'm using the same shadows that I used in my crease and I'm going to just um, connect from the bridge of my nose a little bit past my eyebrows. Kind of trying to give myself a angry kind of sunken in kind of look. Not in the sunken place or anything but more of you know like a, you know how a skull looks. Y'all following me? Yes, no? I hope so. <laughs> then I'm going to go in very, very lightly with that black shadow and I'm going to blend that out very, very lightly. I think you guys could see a pattern here. I'm not really using any new shades. I'm going to be using the same shades in my crease and I'm going to apply it to my cheeks. Preparing myself to look very dead might I add before I chisel out my cheekbones and they're gonna be pretty chiseled because I'm trying to give myself um, a more of a chiseled dead look you know like a skull more bony I'm hoping you guys are following me oh my god it's kind of hard to explain so just watch I'm gonna use um, a liner like a cream liner same one that I use for my eyebrows honestly and I'm gonna start chiseling out the cheeks then I'm gonna go in with a black liner to make everything look defined I'm not using my cousin black um, eyeliner today I'm using this cheap eyeliner that I bought at Family Dollar because I use that in my spider tutorial but that is too expensive to be wasting on Halloween look so that's what I'm going in with. As I outline, I'm 
not making anything too too perfect I'm just trying to thicken the lines as much as I could because then I'm gonna go in with a black shadow and like fade it all out so as I said don't worry about anything being too precise I'm just taking my time and you know making it do what it does going in with black shadow I'm just gonna go right underneath the lines that I already created and I'm gonna start to smoke it out Now after we're all blended, we're going to check it out. I'm feeling it. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. you feeling it? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> yeah, this is me behind the scenes, definitely. Now I'm going to work on drawing the skull's nose or the sunken in nose as you can see. And I'm going to outline it first with the same cream liner that I use or cream eyebrow gel that I use for my eyebrows. And I'm going to start by um, just tracing out what I'd like it to look like and then I'm going to go in with black liner. We're now going to fill this in just to give it that sunken in look again. At this point I'm preparing myself to begin working on the mouth that I'm going to fail tremendously at but you'll see how I try to make a recovery. So just, just watch me struggle it out. Looking at skull pictures online, like some Day of the Dead photos, so that's why you see me like looking um, away while drawing it and stopping and you know restarting and stuff like that. Looking back at it, I kind of wish that I stopped somewhere around here, but it is what it is, right? You live and you learn. Essentially what I was trying to do is draw the teeth or what would be the remainder of what where the teeth would be um and i don't know i didn't really i wasn't really digging it 
So I'm gonna move away and I'm just gonna start working on adding some glitter to the lids of my eyes. It's more like a silver glitter. It doesn't really show up as much, but I did add it. It definitely look, was more pigmented in person. And I'm also going to add some shadow to my brow bone, try to give my eyes a pop, more like a cream off-white shadow. And I'm going to blend that out. I'm now going to be going in with these jewels that I purchased from Five Below. You're going to see them on my lips right here. But later on, I'm going to be moving them while using other ones and putting it elsewhere. But first, I'm going to go in with some pressed um, powder and I'm going to set it right underneath my eyes. I already set my face with translucent powder, but I'm going in with this white um, powder and I'm just setting it just to try to give me more of a ghostly look. Make it seem like I'm dead, you know. That's what we're going for right now. At this point, I also decided to add some eyelashes. dead or not we got a glow so that's what I'm doing I'm adding some highlighter to my face and then I'm going to start going in with some eyelash glue and I'm gonna start applying some jewels just randomly on my face individuals that recreated this had jewels like all around their eyes but I didn't really feel like doing that um, I figured it would have taken a lot more time to try to add these jewels to my face so I decided to just randomly place them wherever I felt necessary. before I wasn't really filling my lips so I decided to take those off and I'm just going to use a Neutrogena wet wipe to remove some of that liner that I applied there and then I'm going to go in with this purple color more like a yeah more like a dark purple royal purple color and I'm going to apply it directly to my lips and then I'm going to top it off what am I topping it off with with a liquid lipstick similar to the color of the regular lipstick that I applied and now I'm going to add some pink lip gloss to give it a little sparkle. I was filling this a lot more than what I had originally done. So I decided to just darken the teeth like marks on my mouth with the liner. And that worked out much better than what I had before I think. I'm now going in with, with some of that black shadow and I'm just going to smoke that out a little bit above my lip just to give it some depth. I don't know. I didn't perfect the teeth so I wanted to just, I don't know, just really just playing it by ear as normal. As normal. Regular stitch playing it by ear. I'm going to add a few more jewels to the face. Again using some of that eyelash glue and I'm just going to make sure that they adhere to my face and they're not like falling all over the place this was probably one of the toughest parts of doing this look because let me tell you these jewels are dropping flopping <laughs> they were not staying on my face so I had to use something to make it adhere
I'm literally obsessed with lip gloss so I'm just adding a little bit more to top off my lips and then I'm gonna go in with some black eyeliner right in my waterline I'm adding one last jewel to my forehead and this is the finished look I was kind of all over the place with this tutorial because I was really just playing it by air seeing what I liked, seeing what I didn't like and trying to just make it all work enjoy the snow modes remember to like comment and subscribe all down below and I'll see y'all in the next one love y'all bye